Well, what up, Snake Pliskin? We are live. Uh, this online, this said was start. It was starting at eleven thirty, uh, but apparently it's starting at eleven. We on uh, Ender Bossy versus Jack Martin. Uh, first fight of the night. I'm looking forward to seeing some boxing, man. I mean, the boxing. Uh, you know, uh, kind of a hiatus in the United States. Um, we had to go to London. We had to go to London and find some boxing, man. Thanks for coming in, Snake. Appreciate it. I hope we get... Uh, hope we get a bigger crowd since I actually had it scheduled for 11.30. In the blue corner... Out of Southminster, England, 26 years old, 3-0 and as a professional, Ginger Jack Martin. You can watch a long on ESPN Plus or IFL TV, uh, hometown of Basildon, England, 23 years old, 2-0 and as a super welterweight, Ender Bossy. All right, guys, and we are off. It is uh, time for some boxing. Six three-minute rounds in the super welterweight division. Uh, so, you know, a little more comfortable for us uh, MMA fans. For us that are normally watching the MMA, uh, we got the five... But, you know, the five-minute rounds, either three five-minute rounds or... Um, oh, and i got to pause it for a minute. I got my uh, time clock off just slightly, and we'll catch it up in between uh, rounds. Uh, I had set a 10-minute time clock, and uh, I came up with a cool, I thought, cool little jingle. Uh... I was going to play during the time, but um, hey, we're three minutes. So three minute rounds, here we go. This was listed as different, different times on different uh, networks. So, you know, I guess it is what it is. Nice double jab. Um, From Bassy in the white there. Oh, great little combination there for Martin. And these guys, these younger guys, you know, in their first fights, they take a lot of chances. Nice exchange there. And, uh, oh! Oh! Beautiful combination there from Jack Martin. And he's in and out. Bassi uh, establishing the jab there. Nice right uppercut to the body there. Martin comes back with a combination upstairs. And nice little combination there from Martin. Nice little right uppercut to the body there. Right hook. Oh, great combination there from Bossy. And, uh, you know, not much of a filling out process here in the first round. Uh, like I said, you know, these guys are, um, you know, early in their careers. Just five fights between the two of them, but both undefeated, 3-0 and and 2-0. and uh, So you see these guys take a little more chances, and it's fun to watch them learning uh, the art New Britain, Polly, good to see you, my friend. Hey, what time are you over in Britain, I'm assuming? Oh, big right uppercut from Bossy from underneath. That was a shot right on the chin. What time is it over there, brother? Nice jab and a left hook there from Bossy. Bossy? Oh, nice jab there from Bassy. Jab works for that. Oh, and Bassy looking to be the counterpuncher, you can tell already. Uh, Martin, man, he is extremely aggressive. Uh, we'll definitely say that much. Nice combination of the body. 
uh, for Martin, but Bossy coming back to the body and the head, getting the better of that exchange again. Uh, nice little jab there, straight counter left there from Bossy. Bossy measuring uh, New Britain connection, 212. So is it 212, like it's 212 p.m. there? <coughs> oh, Connecticut, I'm sorry. I'm going to say connection, but uh, I get my phone here, so I don't have to lean in like a like a creep here. <laughs> Read these comments and uh, good first round. Um, I I did give that one to Bossy. Not a ton of uh, action, but um, you know, I think uh, I think Martin's really letting himself uh, leaving himself open. Uh, coming in over aggressive, and uh, I think Boss is doing a good job of countering. And uh, you know, we'll see if both guys adjust here in the next few rounds. I'm sorry, guys, if you're wondering why I'm like moving around here, uh, drop the remote. There we go. Drop my TV remote. So. I wonder we're, we're a little ways into the second round here, but uh, we'll make sure it starts right here. <clears throat> All right, guys, right at the beginning of uh, the second round here. Nice jab still here from Bossy. I mean, kind of taken off this round. Oh, nice left hook here by Martin. I like the movement from Martin in his hips, especially when he throws that left hook, the wind-up. Great little combination there from Bossy. And good job of uh, punching in the clinch there for Bossy. And uh, they touch gloves as the referee kind of really didn't like that. But... Um, you know, defend yourself until the referee stops. That's the rule. Little clinch here. And uh, surprisingly, neither guy is punch off uh, out of the clinch there. That was a little surprising. Nice one-two there from Bossy. Oh, another one-two from Bossy. Nice right uppercut and a left hook. And indoor Bossy really um, getting a rhythm here in the second round. Nice right uppercut to the body and a left hook there from Bossy. And Bossy, I mean, he's not really loading up, but he's landing a lot of good counter shots. Oh, nice combination there. Nice. Martin loaded up on that right hook at the end of that exchange that landed. Nice job and uppercut. Bossy really likes to throw that uppercut, and especially to the body. Which is rare. Oh, but Martin teeing off here. Now the combination's right hook and a left hand. There's another right hook right on the ear. There for Martin. Much more aggressive this round. Wow, jab and a right hand. Martin is finding the mark here in the second round. Much better round for him. Jab lands up for Bossy. Oh, big right and a left for Martin here, though. And Bossy had the first round so far. Uh, this second round is almost all Martin. Nice one-two there for Martin. Oh, nice right uppercut in the clinch uh, there from Martin. And uh, share this with your English friends. We only got three people in here, but we'll see. We'll see what we get. Now we got five. Drop a StreamYard link. Vato. What's up, Kevin from Chicago? Um... I'm not using StreamYard. I'm using OBS, unfortunately. I know everybody's switching to StreamYard. Uh, I guess maybe I have to figure out how to use that. But um, uh, is does that make it more shareable? Here's the YouTube link. Bam. Yeah, if you just uh, share that out there. And... It, 
end of the second here. Good first round here. We're going to head to the or second round, excuse me, head to the third round. I got it around a piece. Um, I thought Jack Martin won that round. I thought Indra Bossi won the first one. Uh, and uh, an interesting storyline developing here, though. Uh, Indra Bossi really landing uh, the counter shots that first round. And uh, this time, Martin able to get in. Uh, be just as aggressive, but he was able to land more flurries and really get inside that reach uh, of Bossy. It's a lot harder to counter when a guy's throwing four or five punches. Are you covering Dos Anjos versus Felder this week? I am, sir. Uh, Dos Anjos versus Felder, that uh, main card starts at 4 p.m. Pacific and then three hours right afterwards. Uh, we get boxing at Terrence Crawford, uh, so I'm and I am very excited about watching the top pound for pound fighter in the world, um, and boxing after UFC next week as well. So I am excited. Streamyard link lets me come on the show. Oh, okay. So it's different than like if you were to come on through Skype or something. Nice left hand. Good jab there from Bossy to start this round. Hey, Kevin from Chicago. This is, uh, if you want to hit me up on Skype, uh, we could figure that out or Messenger. Um, I, like I said, yeah, unfortunately, I haven't done Streamlab yet or uh, StreamYard. Nice combination there for Martin. <clears throat> nice right hook to the body there for Martin and a clinch. Um, and uh, um, my Skype's just going to be fights with friends. Um, I don't know if you're interested in trying to come in through Skype, but... Uh, That has worked pretty well for us. Good exchange there. And we'll see if Bossy can uh, get back. To, it's it's actually it's fights with friends. So it's live and then the colon fights with friends. <clears throat> Apparently I haven't signed in for a while. So if you are sending me a request, I'm signing in now. Nice right hook to the body. There from Martin. Bossy, good. Good jabs there. Nice exchange there. Love took the body for Bossy. Nice right uppercut. And this is a very close first round. Mm. Uh, I mean, very close first round. And trying to upload a photo. It's not going to let me upload the logo. Sorry, it's been a uh, been a little while since I've done uh, Yeah, so there's not going to be a picture if you see it. But if you see Fights for Friends, it's me. What's up, hey Seattle Mike? Are you on Facebook? I am. Nice right hand there from Martin. Good jab uh, there. So yeah, I'm. Uh, I am on Facebook, and I have a Facebook group. It's just uh, fights with friends. Uh, it is an invite only, uh, so I do have to accept you. But I can send you a link to our group. And wow, that third. Uh, 
That third round, uh, I would say, is back with Bossy. Uh, very back and forth fight here, though. I would not want to be a judge for this one. So it is uh, hard to tell how this one's going to go. And here is a link to the group. Uh, if you want to go there and um, if you ask to uh, be part of the group, let me know. I will approve you. <clears throat> and uh, we have several MMA fighters on there. Luke Kumo uh, posts some stuff on there sometimes. Former, you know, uh, season two runner up of Ultimate Fighter. Um, and those vicious elbows. And then Shoney Carter from season four. Uh, he's over there. Uh, and he's actually been doing live streams of his training in his gym. Uh, Mr. International. He is awesome. Oh, nice exchanges there. Martin gets the better of that one. And we'll see if Martin comes back and uh, has another round like he did in the second. Hey, thank you for tuning in, man. <clears throat> Good jab there from Martin. Uh, and he, yeah, I do Facebook uh, Facebook Messenger uh, as well, Kevin. So nice jab there from Martin. Oh, big one, too. Right hook uh, for Martin. Much more aggressive again this round. Oh, right upper kind of big right hook for Martin. There's a left hook. And he might have hurt Bossy. With, I'm not sure if he hurt Bossy with that one or not. Uh, but that was a solid shot. Nice left there from Martin. And back and forth and back and forth we go. Round one went to Bossy. Round two went to Martin. Round three went to Bossy. Uh, at least on my scorecard. And then Martin coming out uh, aggressive with pinpoint accuracy this round. Nice right hand there from Martin. Bossy really not got much off yet this round. <clears throat> RK Chaos in the his house. What's wrong with Mike's voice? Sounds like a deep. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is there an issue with my sound again? So I do have to accept you, but I can send a link to our group. Oh, this damn microphone. I thought I had fixed this. And wow, the third. Yeah, I thought I, I had set up this microphone, RK Chaos. Nice combination there from Martin. And, uh, God, if I can remember how the hell I did it. Ever since, like, Windows 7, I can't find shit. Uh, I'm old, Arcade. You know, like, we're both around the same age. Nice right hand, left hook. Oh, big overhand right there from Martin. Straight right down the middle, left hook, and a right right on the chin. Martin in control here in the fourth. Nice left hook to the body and a right hook upstairs. And, uh, wow, big left hook there for Martin. And, oh, referee's going to stop the fight clock just for a second to uh, put in the mouthpiece with just seconds left. Uh, I don't know why, I really don't know why he stopped that. I'm sure Martin would have been fine pun throwing punches for five more seconds, but... Uh, That was kind of ridiculous, to be honest. That referee might be drunk. No. I don't really think he's drunk, but I, I, I don't appreciate the call there. I don't appreciate him stopping it there. And uh, I I thought Martin won that round, though. And we're going to skip ahead because I paused a little bit. So we're going to start round five um, a little quicker. There won't be quite a minute in between rounds, probably. So when you see in the corner a bossy here, uh, 10 seconds till the start of the fifth round. Um, they're working on him over there. And here we go. Trying to stay positive because the last thing they want is us to be cos oh, miserable Cosmo Prof. Oh, I hear you, man. 
I hear you. Good jab there from Martin. <clears throat> Good jab back from Bossy. And I have this two apiece. And, and this fight is really, I mean, talk. it could be any more back and forth. I got the first round for Bossy, number two for Martin, number three for Bossy, and the last round number four for Martin. Nice left hook there for Martin oh, on the inside. Good right hook to the body there from Martin. Exchange of jabs there. And like I said, Martin, he really uh, he really loads up with his whole body. He really puts his hips into those uh, into those hooks. I like that. Good left hook to the body there again uh, from uh, Bossy. Uh, Bossy's been, uh, uh, he's been pretty effective to the body, including uh, some nice uppercuts to the body. Kind of a rare shot. Well, that was a big right hook upstairs from Martin and a left hook to the body. And... Uh, the kill ginger might be taken over here in the fifth round. Jake Martin. And nice straight right there for Martin. And uh, a little bit of clinch there in the corner. Oh, nice. Straight right there. I'm going to see. Uh, we'll see in between fights if I can figure out what in the hell is going on with the sound here. Friggin' ridiculous, right, guys? Who wants, who wants to listen to bullshit sound? And still a minute left in this round. This is, uh, seemed like a longer round here. I mean, they're all three minutes. But nice right hook there for Bossy. Another right hook and a straight left for Martin. Wow, one, two. And who's going to take the lead here? Like I said, I have it at two apiece. Oh, nice left here for Martin. And he is being more aggressive in this round. Bossy has been the counterpuncher, but he might be getting tired here. Nice counter left from Bossy, though, right as I say that. Jab lands for Martin. A oh, wild left hook misses there for Martin. Come down to the last 30 seconds of this fight. And uh, this is this has been an entertaining fight here. Oh, Bossy lands that right uppercut to the body again, but Martin was waiting for it that time. Lands a big right right over the top. Break counter there for Martin, a right hook. And uh, this is such a close round. Nice right hand and a right hook right on the on the chin. A combination of the body and that big combination for Martin there at the end. I think this round was close enough. On my scorecard, Jack Martin uh, took this round in, in the last 10, 15 seconds here. I had it pretty even. Uh, up till that, so I have it three to two uh, for Martin. So on my scorecard, uh, Bossy needs to win the round uh, just for a draw, or uh, he's going to need a finish. Um, Martin can win this fight, Jack Martin, uh, if he wins the six. Of course, my unofficial scorecard, very unofficial. All right, guys, 10, 10 seconds. Time up. Here we go, sixth round. <clears throat> here we go. I definitely don't want you miserable, RK Chaos. Touch of gloves in here. We go, guys. Uh, bossy, I mean, he's got a pretty good cut there with that left eye, too. Left and a right there from Bassey. And I wonder if Bassey realizes that he might be behind in this fight. Nice combination there from Martin. A oh, nice counter left hook there from Bassey. Using his angles a little more like he did earlier in the fight. I mean, he has great footwork when he uses it. I just feel like he's taking rounds off. Nice exchange of jabs there. Oh, good counter right hook to the body. For Martin and right hand upstairs. Oh, beautiful one, two. There for Martin. Left hook for Bassey, but Martin might be taking over here. Good defense there from Bassey, but Martin, two big right hooks and left hook. Straight right for Martin. He's going for the finish. Straight left and a right hook. Right on the chin here for Martin in the sixth round. 
What's up, MMA or not? Uh, Glover's on top of the world, baby. What am I watching? Uh, it's on ESPN+. Plus. It is um, a boxing card uh, from uh, England, and uh, the main event is a world championship. Well, an intercontinental somewhat world championship. Beautiful combination here. Uh, Martin getting the better of that one, but beautiful exchange there. Um, one of their big Olympic prospects in just a second fight, taking on a guy that's 14-0. Martin loading up on the right hands here, three in a row. Kind of right there for Bassey, but great round again here for Martin. Oh, cool. I'm in. All right. Good to see you. You can watch along uh, on ESPN Plus, Nada. Nice right uppercut and a left hook for, for Martin. This has been a great fight here. And I know I actually put schedule for 11.30 um, because I seen online that the card didn't start till 11.30 and then somehow it started at 11. So here we go. Oh, nice left hook there from Bassey. Maybe too little too late for him though. Nice left hook there from Martin. I mean, he's, uh, you know, definitely... Had his moments, especially early for Bassi. I had him win in rounds one and three. Oh, beautiful combination. Nice right hook and a right uppercut. Right hook, Bassi looking again to finish this one. Right, left hook, right uppercut. Oh, my goodness. Martin landing a six punch, power punch uh, combination there towards the bell. 230 in New York. Yep. But see, it was supposed to start at 2.30 in New York, and it actually started at 2. But, you know, regardless, we're here. All right, guys. It says I'm going to send you back in here. I thought this was a six-round fight. Is this an eight-round fight? Well, I mean, I was damn sure that this was a six-round fight, but maybe this is an eight-round fight. So it, it looks like we're still going. Are we going or are we waiting a decision? Oh, no, they're still in some water. It is over, though. Okay, I got four rounds to two for Dak Martin. Um, I, I think this one's pretty easy uh, to score. I mean, there could have been a judge uh, that threw maybe the fourth round to Bassey and make it a draw, but I, I really don't see it. And, all right, here we go. Here's the official decision. The commentators seem to agree with me. All three, 59-55 for Jack Martin. That's how I had it. Or, excuse me, I had 58-56. They had 59-55, but uh, the right guy got it. Great match there for Jack Martin. Came in uh, an underdog to this match tonight. Uh, you know, the the counter-striking of Bassey in the top. And, uh, to me, it really seemed like Bassey got tired. It's only a six-round fight. Uh, but it, he seemed to really start to run out of gas around the fourth round. So, and I am going to... Uh, work on figuring out this thing with Mike. Like I said, guys, I almost forget how to freaking do everything on <clears throat> um. 
All right, guys. I shit. So I still sound weird, guys. I still sound like a demon. I'm gonna end up taking this new mic back because I I've, I've definitely had this uh, situation a few times. Um, a little afraid to unplug it in the middle of the stream and plug it back in because I'm afraid it'll. Uh, it might stop working altogether, but it, it, yeah, for whatever reason, it is uh, it's blinking red. What's that, guys? Well, shoot, sure, no, this device, yes. All right, hold on here for just a second, guys. We'll get this figured out. guys how's that looks like we looks like we looks like we oh you gotta be kidding me okay all right guys Lewis Edmondson 2-0 versus 0-8, Scott Williamson of Manchester. Uh, that's an interesting uh, interesting combination of uh, records there. Scott Williams, 0-8. Boxing's interesting how guys can keep on getting fights when they, they can't really seem to freaking beat anybody. I mean, God, I... All right. Getting me. Okay. All right, guys. Lewis Edmondson, two and zero versus zero and eight. Scott Williamson of Manchester. Uh, that's an interesting, uh, interesting combination of. Uh, there, All right, looks like uh, it looks like we might be okay. How do I? How does it sound now, Arcade? They can't really seem to freaking beat anybody. What up, Torin Brown? How you doing, my friend? We're having a bit of a uh, sound issue, but I'm not getting any feedback from anybody. Did it? Uh, out of work, right into a live stream. Nice, Snake Plissken. Yeah, me too, man. Uh, well, I got home from work about 9.30. Uh, and it kind of wor purposely worked it out that way. But uh, here we go. How's the sound now, though, guys? Oh, I guess I could... Uh, I guess I could answer that myself. The earbuds here. Now I can hear myself. Why have I never done that? All right. Is it a fight court going on now? Yes, it is. It's on ESPN Plus, Torn Brown. 
and it is from uh, London. So it looks like uh, the microphone, some microphone's working now because we got sound. Possibly a little bit of feedback here, but uh, yeah, I can hear a little bit of an echo. That's annoying. No, I don't want to remove that. All right, we should be good. I'm not sure why I'm getting a little feedback here. But uh, sounds like just, just a slight echo. All right, and here comes Scott Williams down to the ring. Coming down to Wonderwall. What's up, Robert Kerrigan? Good to see you. Paul Felder, RDA, should be a great fight. Absolutely, man. It's been saying it right for a while now. It never bothered me. Ah. Uh, a snake Pliskin. <laughs> Just ready for Saturday's card. Ah. Uh. All right, eight of you guys in here. Everybody, please hit the like button. Good to see the, uh, the regulars in here. Louis Edmondson making his way down to the ring now. Like I said, you can follow along with this on uh, on ESPN Plus or IFL TV. And if you're looking to see who is fighting, uh, well, the description's supposed to have the entire card, but. Um, I've been having some issues ever since you have uh, YouTube took away the old YouTube studio. Uh, I knew how to use it just fine, and I can the old one. And they said, "Well, you're gonna have to switch to the new one eventually." Uh, well, you, you got a piece of shit beta going that's not uh, not a very good program. But uh, Scott Williams, a light heavyweight. 0 oh, and 8 as a professional. Ouch. And out of the blue corner, 2 and 0 oh as a light heavyweight out of Southampton, England, uh, Lewis Edmondson. And I'm not sure if he's planning on padding his entire record with eight and five fighters. I don't know who he fought before then, but uh, you would you would like to hope not. Okay, I think I might have figured. Hopefully I figured out the uh, echo there. Nice left hook there from Edmondson to start this first round. Good one, two. Good left hook to the body there from Edmondson. When you've lost all eight of your fights, uh, I mean, I, I don't know what kind of demeanor you come into a fight with. I mean, this is a four-rounder. Nice one, two to the body. Left hook. Upstairs and a right hand from Edmondson. Williams looks very punch shy. Nice jab and a right hook upstairs. Right hook to the head and a combination of the body here from Edmondson. All Lewis Edmondson here.
And I'm not sure why the uh, mic is so sensitive here, guys. I'm going to have to really work on this thing. Craving a beer. Hey, I've already had one this morning. I'm already done with work. So I guess the lightweight tournament starts Saturday with Felder and RDA. Yep. What's up, martial arts fan? Jack Rafferty versus Tom Hill. They fight yet? Uh, no, there's only been... Uh, this is just the second fight. And the last one was Jack Martin. Uh, and I cannot remember the full name of the other kid. Oh, nice left hook there from Edmondson. Good combination there to the body. <clears throat> and damn it, yeah, we should only have one... Uh, microphone here oh nice combination there to the body from Edmondson that's going to be the end of the first round rumor has it UFC 256 main event could be Brian Ortega versus Alexander. I like that fight. I hadn't heard that yet, but uh, I'm just getting home from work, so... Uh That's interesting, though. Easy first round here for Lewis Edmondson, but like I said, Scott Williamson, I mean, I don't know why he's boxing at 0 8. It's, it's kind of weird to see these guys continue to get sanctioned when they haven't won a fight, but um, I mean, I guess it is what it is. Oh, nice right uppercut there from Williams and a left hook, though. Two fifty one. Where do I work? Um, I um, run a tortilla route. I buy tortillas from Mission and I sell them to uh, other stores and uh, stock them. So um, I got a big ass truck at my house now. I straight right there from Edmondson. So I go to the warehouse. I have an area there. I buy the tortillas. I. Uh, bring them into the store, sell them to them, stock them, and then uh, clean up the mess. Nice combination there from Edmondson. It's nice, though, because nobody bothers me, and that's uh, that's what I need. I, I can't really handle people uh, telling me what to do. My favorite tortillas. All right, nice. Good jab there from Edmondson. And, oh, nice right hook to the body there from Edmondson. I'm a taco man. Taco Tuesdays, man. Nice right hand to the body there from Edmondson. Good jab there from Williams. And, uh, I mean, Williams 0-8. I think if he loses another fight, they should repo his tattoos. You were just not that tough. Uh, and that was a shot back behind the head there from Edmondson. Good combination from him. But, I mean, uh, he's basically walking a, down a human punching bag right now. Big right hook to the body and straight right up top. Edmondson, uh, I mean, he's working on his body punching, getting some stuff then that he might not normally do with a guy like this. Can't stand that either. A boss and or co-workers talking to you like you're slow or crazy. Right, Torin? Yeah, I, I don't need that in my life. 
Nice left hook and a straight right. Oh, good right hook there from Edmondson and a left hook. Looking to pull Williams out of his misery here uh, in the second round. I mean, he just may be... Um, trying to uh, get some work in here. And I think I finally might have fixed the feedback here. Now I still hear a little bit in the background, but uh, I don't know, guys. All right, in between rounds, Edmund's getting some water, getting some water on the head, water in the mouth. Yeah, it is a big fight weekend, though, guys. I mean, tomorrow, a huge Bellator card, that featherweight uh, Grand Prix. Uh, Patricio Pitbull taking on Pedro Carvalho for the championship. All right, here we go. Round three. Nice straight right there from Edmondson. Good jab. And, I mean, this is kind of like a nice one-two there from Edmondson. When you're Edmondson, I kind of feel like it's just kind of like you're in your practice and back in the day on Mike Tyson's punch out. Like, you want to fight. Um, who's the second guy after Glass Joe? Is it that Tiger guy? I can't remember for sure. I don't think it's Don Flamingo. Nice left hook to the body there from Edmondson. But it's like you fight this guy four or five times to get down certain parts of the game. Don't have anyone telling you what to do being a truck driver. No, nope, Mike, never. Uh, you never thought about truck driving? Um, Not really. I was, uh, to be 100% honest, I was really scared uh, to drive the truck I have now. Nice one, too, there from Edmondson. Uh, I almost didn't want to buy this route because I knew I was going to have to buy a truck and drive it. Uh, I've gotten much more comfortable with it. Uh, now, and since I own a truck, uh, I mean, maybe you could make some money. Nice one, two there from Edmondson. Good right hook to the body, and there's a left hook to the body. Uh, I mean, I just invested a lot of my retirement money into this business, so I think I'm doing this for a minute. Good combination, finally, there from Williams. But no, I never really had thought about it. Uh, and I kind of have a worry. Uh, I'm kind of worried sitting for that long, not doing much. A little worried I might fall asleep. I had that issue as a kid. I used to always fall asleep in the car as a passenger. But uh, I, I don't do a lot of really long drives. Uh, I'll, I'll go five hours to eastern Washington every once in a while. But I'll probably take two stops then. Nice straight right and a double left hook there from Edmondson. What's up, Wilfrey? What business did you start? Um, it's called Talk About Tortillas. And uh, I buy tortillas from a mission... Uh, the Mission Foods Distribution Center, and I uh, sell them to grocery stores. Nice combinations there from Edmondson. I'm uh, the driver, salesperson, merchandiser. I am doing Bellator tomorrow, New Britain Poly, and that is a great card. With that uh, rematch uh, between Dan uh, Weichel and uh, Emmanuel Sanchez, that should be a great co-main event. And then, of course, Patricio... Uh, Pitbull, always fun to watch, uh, taking on Pedro Carvalhos. Aaron Pico will be uh, out there too. Nice right hook to the body for Edmondson. Williams lands the right hook upstairs, but uh, that's going to be the third end of the third round here. My uncle is a truck uh, 
53 years old, started when he was 26. Truck drivers make good money. Uh, yeah, I I mean, what, I don't know what... Uh, I mean, I make good money. I don't know what you consider good money, but I think I do pretty good doing what I, uh, I'm doing right now. I don't have to stay anywhere overnight. I don't think I want to be uh, stuck out of town anywhere. Away from the wife. I'm back. Not local. Uh, stop by. Drop a thumbs up. Thank you, Yoga Jones. Good to see you, sir. Is, um, is anybody off? Is anybody on unemployment? Did anybody ever get their unemployment checks? Uh, I know a lot of people were on unemployment uh, because uh, a lot of people weren't able to work. But then I hear about so many people uh, not getting their paycheck straight right upstairs and left hook to the body. Any lot lizards, Mike? Uh, every once in a while. My uncle drives to different states. Yeah, I, I did that for a long time, corporate, with a company called Winco Foods. I uh, was a man jumping up a lot of stores. And uh, uh, there was a couple years I was, uh, you know, out of state more than I was home. And uh, it got kind of old. Nice combination there from Edmondson. I uh, did end up start working, or not working, but cooking from hotel rooms. So I actually got tired of eating out so much. Nice right hand from Williams. Good combination from Edmondson. Hey, even though the company would pay for the food, that was one of the greatest perks. But um, And the last round of this one, Williams and Edmondson, and I'm sure Williams will be happy to get put out of his misery here. Nice left hand there from Edmondson. Oh, good right hook upstairs and a left hook to the body. But this is this is kind of a not a loss, but a disappointment to me for Edmondson if he can't put Williams away. Nice right hook to the body, but he's got these are light heavyweights. You got to have the power. You you got uh, an opponent in front of you that's just basically a human punching bag. Uh, like I said earlier, you got to put this kind of opponent away. And he's not running. He's just taking shots. Nice, you know, left hook to the body, straight right upstairs from Edmondson. Uh, I mean, he's definitely getting some work in here. I mean, there's that to be said. Nice combination to the body and a combination upstairs. Edmondson really trying to put Williams out. Williams throwing a wild overhand right there finally. Good combination there from Edmondson with Williams. Just horrible technique. And you're 0-8. And, I mean, I hate to be so mean to the guy, but, I mean, the guy, is he's freaking 0-8. You would think somebody in the family would go to him and be like, man, you should probably really do something else. Getting beat up for a living is probably not the best idea for you. A couple of nice right hands here from Edmondson. Nice combination upstairs into the body there from Edmondson. And, I mean, a, a dominating performance for Edmonds. Oh, nice right uppercut and a left hook. There from Edmondson. But he's just, uh, Williams, is, he's just not a good fighter. He, he's just not a guy that, um, it, it's surprising, I would say, that he continues to get sanctioned as a professional. So uh, I look forward to the next fight to start. Oh, and the commentators here are saying, I I'm really impressed with this young man for a guy to be fighting a journeyman. I'm sorry, 0 uh, 8 is not a journeyman. 0 uh, 8 is out to lunch. I just, I, I, I don't understand why you're fighting at 0 and 8. I mean, maybe uh, you plan on fighting until you get a win. Maybe that's, uh, you know, kind of his life uh, life goal to get a win in boxing. But uh, Scott Williams is going to move to 0-9. Billy Hughes 
Holy heck, Batman, this is an early stream, folks. Yes, it is, Billy. Over in England. Uh, at least he is consistent. Says well for he is consistent. He consistently gets his ass beat about every uh, uh, you know three to six months. I said oh and nine. Uh, I think they should. I think somebody should repo Scott Williams' tattoos. They look too tough for him. Oh Scott Snake Plisca. Oh pizza sounds good, man. Why change what's not working? <laughs> I love it, Will Frey. And uh, no, no surprises here. Uh, uh, Lewis the Saint Edmondson moving to five and zero, winning all four rounds easily against the human punching bag Scott Williams. Do you not work today? I did work uh, this morning, Billy. I went in uh, about three thirty. I set myself up a uh, couple different days uh, to get myself out of there earlier, and uh, I've kind of moved some things around recently where I can have some shorter days. Fig figuring some things out. So what I end up with about a five-hour day today, I think four and a half, five hours. All right, and you see they are sanitizing the ring here in between fights. And Lewis Edmondson, should you get an interview for beating a guy that was 0-8? I'm not so sure you deserve an interview, but... Uh... All right, guys, next fight... Coming up, three more fights, two more, and then the main event. Uh, one and zero prospect against fourteen and zero for the WBC Super Welterweight Championship. I mean, that's an interesting dichotomy right there. Kula, uh, Surimbe, uh, Kulakamet versus McCallie McGowan later. Uh, McCallie McGowan, they said 14 0 and 1. Uh, and Kulakmet just his uh, second fight of all time. We've seen a lot of guys do that though back in the day. We've seen uh, Roy Jones Jr., he fought a guy with a lot of fights, his second, third fight, Andre Ward. Uh, same kind of thing when you you got these guys that uh, had these long, uh, talented amateur uh, fights. Patty Donovan versus Juman Camaro. This fight should be much more competitive. A lot of people are pretty excited about this one, actually. Uh, Patty Donovan, 4-0, three knockouts. Uh, Mitchum, 10-6 with three knockouts as well. Hundred and forty five pounders, uh, and they both are 140, 147 is the weight class. Sorry, Walter weight. Uh, both guys came in just under that weight 146.4, 146.1. Uh, I'm so used to in MMA these guys uh, not only not being in under but using that one pound allowance. Uh, you know, you, do, you don't see that as much in boxing, you actually see. Um, Fairly often, you'll see guys actually come in under the weight. And I mean, I guess that happens in MMA, but not, uh, not near as often. Did you work today, Billy? Are you, uh, are you out of work right now?
All right, Patty Donovan looking to go to five and zero. Oh. I mean, this is a this is a tough match going against a guy that has sixteen fights, uh, ten wins for Jermaine Camaro. I mean, this is a big step up. And uh, like I said I'm gonna I'm gonna work in between fights here on trying to figure out this damn feedback thing. And whatever reason, I got the red uh, blinking light on my microphone. And it's really uh, kind of annoying here. See what we can do here in the sound. Troubleshoot. Uh, detecting problems. Hmm. Well, tomorrow night, guys, Bellator. We're moving on. Big Bellator card. Patricio Pitbull. Versus Pedro Carvalho. That's going to be a fun one. Uh, main card starts at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. A rematch, Dan Weichel uh, versus Emmanuel Sanchez 2. Uh, first fight was very close and very controversial. Uh, Aaron Pico will also be fighting tomorrow night. and we still got that. We'll see if... Uh... See what that does. A uh, bit of a break in between fights here, guys. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited for Bellator. I'm excited for... Uh, can you cover a bare-knuckle event? Governor got scared again. Uh, we we're back on furlough due to increase in Tony Khabib thing. Oh, man, that sucks, man. That uh, That's unfortunate. But uh, the underdog Jumain Camaro make making his way to the ring right now. And I, I, I think this might be the sensitivity of the mic. I think we're actually picking up the... Uh
I think I might be picking up the broadcast from my earbud here. That is, uh, quite the sensitive mic. All right. I think, I, I think that might've been it. Billy Hughes for governor. Absolutely. Yeah. They, uh, re-elected our freaking governor jay Inslee again i mean and uh, my damn wife and daughter voted for that jackass too i uh, i believe young david did as well i i'm sorry i think you should have to be 25 to vote Give the mic a rear neck a choke. Should stand straight. Thank you to all who served. Yes. A salute to all the veterans. Thank you, guys. All right. 26 years old, weighing at 146 pounds out of Mitchum, England. 10 and 6 as a professional with three knockouts. Jumaine Camaro. All right, and out of the blue corner. 21 years old, 146 pounds out of Lamerick, Ireland. 4 and 0 oh is a professional with three knockouts. Patty, the real deal, Donovan. And this should be a much more competitive fight. All right, six rounds this time in the welterweight division. Referee saying fight clean, defend yourselves at all times. I've seen Penny Donovan fight before. Um, I think it was on the prelims of a pay-per-view card we did, actually. I don't know who all remembers him of you guys, but... Uh... Oh, nice right hook here from Camaro. Camaro coming out uh, pretty aggressive here. Good jab here from Donovan in and out. Oh, nice counter left there from Don uh, Camaro. Donovan, man, he's got quick hands. And he really does. Nice left hook there from Camaro. But uh, good jab here from Donovan. Oh, beautiful left uppercut uh, there from Donovan in a straight right. The rookie, uh, like I said, just four fights to 16 for Donovan. But nice left hand, or excuse me, for Camaro. Nice left hand there for Donovan. Oh, beautiful boxing here from Donovan here in the first round. The switch of Sands. Uh, just back to Southpaw now. Big shots to the body and the head. Uh, he's got three knockouts in his four wins. And, I mean, you get in there with a the guy, you had 10-6. Yeah, Donna uh, Camaro's got six losses. But 16 fights as a professional four, that's a big difference. Nice right hook there from Donna to the body, though, and the right hand upstairs. Uh, Donovan really thought of as quite the prospect, though. Oh, beautiful counter right there from Donovan. And that's the kind of fights uh, you've seen Roy Jones Jr., Andre Ward, a lot of those guys coming up, maybe even early, like their second, third fight. They might face a guy uh, with 15 fights. Nice combination there from Donovan. Snake, what's up, Roy Rez? Yo, yo, yo. 
Oh, big right hand there from Donovan. I like that. No show. Oh, man, he's got beautiful hand speed. Three right hooks there from Donovan. Right uppercut. Nice left hook there from Donovan, though. Or from Camaro. Donovan's he's got to watch his chin there. Camaro with a nice right hook upstairs, too. Donovan with a good combination afterwards. And, I mean, make, you know, make no mistake. Um, I think Donovan's winning this round. But, and there we go. Snick Pliskin says, you sound like a demon again. Damn it. Ought to have this taken care of. Well, thank you for the thumbs up, guys. 15 thumbs up. So, great ups for that. Uh, hopefully, we'll figure this damn microphone thing out by the time... Uh, time we get to the main card. But, I mean, I, I don't know. Troubleshooting it now to detect problems. All right, seconds out from this second round. Round two here, Pouty Donovan, Jermaine Camaro. Like I said earlier, you can uh, find this on ESPN Plus or IFL TV uh, over in Europe. Whoa, and Camaro coming out wild, swinging for the fences this round. Lands a nice couple of shots upstairs and the body, but good combinations from Donovan. That was a slick uppercut beginning of the round. Nice jab from Camaro. Good left hook from Donovan. Says he could not identify the problem. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I had this issue with the mic, and then uh, uh, I was not having the issue the last couple streams, and now all of a sudden, freaking shit. Oh, beautiful combination off the ropes there from Donovan. Nice shot there from Camaro. Oh, nice exchange. Good counter left hook. Uh, there from Donovan on that one. I will cover BKFC. Um, the fights are going to be good tonight. Nice combination there from Donovan. Oh, beautiful uppercut from Donovan. Damn base. Oh, nice right up hook to the body, excuse me, for Camaro. Good combination from Donovan, though. No doubt Donovan uh, gets it done for another round here, though.
good can left hand on the replay here. And Donovan getting a good workout here from a fighter with 16 uh, fights, and that's what he wanted to do. All right, seconds out to the third round here. And here we go. I kind of dig it, Mike. All right, Snake. I guess we'll go with it for now. Maybe I'll dress up. Uh, maybe I'll put on a devil suit next time. No. Nice left hook there from Donovan. Straight right. This is like the weirdest microphone ever, the Samson G Pro. It's a Best Buy exclusive, and but this is a, this is the second time I've had uh, this issue with it. I thought I had fixed it. Donovan continuing to pump that jab here. Nice left hook there from Donovan. Good left hook upstairs there from Camaro, though. Oh, and Donovan making him pay for it, though. Great combination. A good right hook to the body. Donovan getting some good work in here tonight. Guys, I'm gonna try something. See if uh, this makes the problem go away. See what we got now. I think it might be an OBS problem because I just. Uh, Completely removed the microphone and put it back on. Never even lost sound, so. Donovan ducking down here. Good jab, and... Uh, Donovan countering Camaro as he comes in with the left hook to the body. And, I mean, Camaro, he's getting in work here. Good jab and a right hook uh, here from Camaro. But Donovan's just double dipping him up. Uh, Camaro's throwing one shot at a time. And Donovan's throwing combinations. And Louis landing a lot harder shots as well. All right, round three, or over uh, three rounds to zero here for Donovan. Uh, going into the fourth, Jumaine Camaro. I mean, he's uh, he's an opponent. He's a good opponent to get work in, but he's just kind of that. He is an opponent. And, uh, I mean, a lot of people maybe gave Camaro a little better chance tonight, but Donovan's really had his way with him.
nice right hand there from Donovan. Good luck token right hand there from Camaro. Uh, maybe a little bit of uh, desperation finally here from Camaro. Wow, and Camaro swinging wild here. Lands a big left hook. Right hook downstairs. Oh, nice. Two nice right hooks to the body here from Camaro. Right hook upstairs. Camaro really putting his body into it now. Nice right hand to the body there for Donovan. And, I mean, Camaro the aggressor. Uh, Donovan, I mean, give him a shot. He's right up against the ropes. But he just keeps on countering him uh, with combination. He comes in. Nice right uppercut there from Camaro. Oh, finally, good right hand there from Donovan. Or from Camaro, excuse me, left hook from Donovan. Oh, Donovan really putting some pepper on those shots. So nice left hooks to the body and then the head. Oh, good right hook to the body and a left for Donovan. Camaro throwing a good combination there at the bell. But uh, probably too little too late for him. And let's watch the replay. I used to see Camaro able to get in some good right hooks that round. All right, just seconds left to the fifth round here. And we go pause it for a minute. There's the bell. What's up, Farm Browns? Mike is having off day. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what the deal is, man. But uh, I'm glad. Hopefully, we'll get it figured out before tomorrow's Bellator stream. Just, I, I don't think it's going to let me change the settings. Uh, I think something got screwed up, and I don't think it's going to let me change it while we're in stream for whatever reason. I'm going to try something. Damn it. Well. Maybe that is better now, huh? Eh? 
Oh, big right hook upstairs there from Donovan. What's up, Billy? Hey, the robot voice is back. Yep. I don't understand any of it, but, uh, oh, you fixed it good. Hey, all right, good deal. Oh, nice straight right and a left hook there from Camaro. I just unplugged this damn uh, microphone and plugged it back in. <laughs> Right, now we can actually throw some boxing trivia out here then. Seconds left here in round five. Um, I still have it as round four, I know, but... Uh, all right, one more round. Uh One more round here. Billy, if you want to come in, I don't know much more about these uh, fighters than you do. I've just uh, been kind of catching up from the commentators here. So uh, if you want to come in on Spike, haven't heard you uh, for a little while. Well, you've had laryngitis, though. All right, seconds left here. Boom, there we go. Final round here, uh, undefeated prospect Patty Donovan and 10 and 6, Juman Camaro. Nice combination from Donovan to start this sixth round. Donovan really digging the body here, though. Uh, right and left hook, hooks, and then a nice right hook upstairs. Good straight right to the body there from Camaro. Oh, nice left uppercut from Donovan. A beautiful footwork there. Nice left hook from Camaro. And uh, I said we'll get the we'll get the trivia after this round. Oh, nice left hook upstairs there from Camaro and a good right hook to the body. Good jab there from Camaro. Much better round for him. I mean, a little too little too late here, probably, most likely. But, uh, oh, nice one, too, there from Camaro. Camaro might win this round. I mean, unless Donovan's kind of waiting for him to make a mistake so he can knock him out. Maybe letting him get comfortable. Nice left hook to the body there from Donovan. Oh, beautiful right hand there from Donovan. Digging right hook to the body there from Camaro. Donovan comes back with the uppercut. And, I mean, good. Uh, you know, this is a, a good journeyman fight uh, here for Donovan. Good moving around. Oh, man. Big left hook there from Donovan. Oh, big right hook here from Donovan. We'll see if he tries to take him out here in the last 50 seconds. Nice left hook upstairs. Good combination of the body. Uh, Camaro landing a straight left up top. Camaro's 
He's getting shots in in these exchanges. Uh, you know, just Donovan, I think, the harder puncher and uh, putting more of it together right now. He's just a better fighter. Looking to set up that right hand. Oh, he, he actually throws the right hook and misses. There's a nice right hook and a big left hook to the body there from Donovan. Nice right hook from Camaro. Donovan comes back with a combination here, though. And uh, I'm sure if you looked at the punch stats, you're going to get at least a 3-1 to one, uh, landed probably for Donovan. Nice exchange there, but on my scorecard, um, I still got uh, Donovan coming back and winning that round. I got a six rounds to zero. Dean Hamper with the $10 donation. First donation of the night. Thank you, Dean. Ten dollar donation. Thank you very much. How you doing, Dean? Good to see you. Smith Pliskin giving a uh, round of applause as well and putting the tip jar up to ten dollars. I seen somebody in the uh, comments from my last stream said they were offended that. Uh, uh, that I had a tip jar. I'm not offended when they get paid at work, so I, whatever. They can go kick rocks, as far as I'm concerned. But thank you. And uh, the official scorecard here coming up. Should be it should be every round here I think for Patty Donovan they might have give one round to Camaro, uh, but I mean if he won any round it would have been the six and I really thought Patty pulled the six out at the end there as well. And a lot of tape on the gloves of Camaro. You got to get, I guess, apparently they got to get those tape off the gloves to raise their hand. I don't get that, but put dedication and hard work into this. Thank you, Snake. I, I try, man. I try. But uh, Donovan looks very happy. I think he is uh, looking forward to a uh, a well-earned win. Sixty fifty five in favor of Patty Donovan, the real deal. All right, no question there. Patty Donovan, he does get tested. He gets a guy, uh, you know, that put pressure on him, Juman Camaro. Like I said, 16 fights coming into this. Uh, I mean, you know, he put the pressure on him. Uh, he made Donovan kind of wait as a counterpuncher, made him do, uh, he didn't make him uncomfortable. Uh, at times, for sure. But, uh, and, uh, oh yeah, next bare knuckle, bo wait, bare knuckle boxing? When is, uh, BKFC 14. Is that this weekend as well? Everything's this weekend. Everything in fighting is this weekend. No. Uh, we had contender series last night. We got boxing to uh, today. We got a big Bellator card tomorrow. We got a big UFC uh, Saturday in the afternoon. And then in the evening, uh, you got Terrence Crawford.
Friday. Is that correct? It's Friday. At 5 p.m. Pacific, Jim Ayler's defending his belt against uh, Luis Palomino. Uh, and for the 155-pound belt, 135-pound belt, Dap, uh, Wynn versus Reginald Barnett Jr. Yeah, this is a fairly long card, too. Johnny Bedford was supposed to be fighting Wynn. Unfortunately, uh, he had a hand injury. God, that guy's fun to watch. But, uh, yeah, bare knuckle fighting. Damn, only on the BKTV app. I believe it's just a $5 a month thing. Uh, I'm going to have to sign up for that. But thank you. Uh, thank you for reminding me there about BKFC. I haven't done one in a little while, Snake. But... Uh, Definitely want to do this next one. Press conference for BKFC going on now. Got the notification. Yeah, I just did two as well. That's why I looked at it again, uh, that they're having the press conference. And these COVID press conferences aren't, ex you know, aren't really the same. Um, but I'm looking forward to the actual fight itself. And main event still to go here. Um, Tjernbe uh, Kulakamat uh, of Kazakhstan, just 1 0 coming up in the main event, uh, going against Macaulay McGowan, who is 14 0. Uh, and that's a Super Welterweight Championship. And I believe Kulak met with just one fight. Uh, I believe he's the favorite. So that really says something. They really think a lot of this kid. All right, guys, I got to go. Um, for a water break, I'm going to go get me some ice water in between rounds here. But uh, they're saying, how long is it going to be before we get to see this kid again? And with the pandemic, it's like, who knows? Better than nothing, though. Oh, absolutely, Snake. Absolutely. And I'm happy. I'll be happy to have BKFC on Friday. So what? We'll be streaming then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and twice on Saturday. All in the same week. Damn. Getting some work in. I think my wife uh, turned the heat up. It is uh, feeling warm in here. Don't burn yourself out, brother. I, like I said, I, I haven't committed to Friday yet. I've committed to the other ones. But... Uh, We'll get it where we get it. I'm going to go get a uh, some ice water, and uh, I'll be right back, guys.
right, guys, I am back. Billy, you play UFC or Call of Duty? I've never gotten into those. Uh, I think Billy plays some stuff. I've never gotten into those first person shooter games. I'm pretty horrible at them. I do like that new UFC game. Yeah, where'd you go, Billy? Damn it. <laughs> oh. Patty Donovan, just 21 years old. And, of course, you know, Mike Tyson, when he became heavyweight champion at 20, the guy was an anomaly. It's just, uh, it's just really hard. All right, guys. I enjoyed the zombies. Multiplayer is on another level. I, I've heard that new Call of Duty. I've heard good things from people that, uh, from people that play it. And somebody was asking about Tom Hill. Who was that was asking about Tom Hill? Tom Hill, 9 and 1, taking on uh, Jack Rafferty in the co main event at Welterweight here next. Uh, eight rounds. Jack Rafferty, 12 and 0 with seven knockouts. Tom Hill, 9 and 1 uh, with a pair of knockouts himself. And God, I know it's winter time, guys, but Jesus Christ. Somebody's got the heat up like crazy in here. I got to open the window. at my late father's marine graduation book from 65 he was sent to vietnam at 17 years old he had lied about his age of course damn that is uh that is quite the accomplishment Like I said earlier, thank you to all the veterans today. If there's any veterans in here. Um, Tom Hill making his way down to the cage or to the ring, excuse me. It's in the 70s uh, all week then, right? Down to 37 up in Michigan. Oh, geez. Yeah, it's uh, it's been in the 30s mostly in the morning here uh, and, and then warming up during the day. I don't know how warm it is right now. I wear shorts every day. Uh, if it gets down in the teens, I'll work, uh, I, I might not, but, uh, yeah, it's 43 here right now. But otherwise, when I'm working, I just get too damn hot. That is an interesting ring walk. Oh, sweet Caroline, that is, uh, you know, Darren Till, of course, remember Darren Till said he wasn't going to come down to it uh, anymore um, until there is a crowd. I believe he's been coming down to no music during uh, the quarantine. It's 
snowed on Monday. I wore shorts in a blizzard. You have to be soft to bundle up in the cold. Yep. Exactly. All right. Out of red car, England, 25 years old. He weighed in 150 pounds. Nine and one with two knockouts. Super welterweight. Tom Hill. And across the ring, the favorite tonight, 25 years old, 12 and 0, with seven knockouts. Also weighed in 150 pounds out of Shaw, England, Jack Rafferty. Liverpool soccer team song, Sweet Caroline. Oh, is that why all those guys always come down to it? Okay. I don't want soccer. Billy, I think it, Billy watches every sport. So, no. Snake says, I'm going with Jack. Me too, man. Uh, I'm going to go with Jack Rafferty here. Somebody was waiting, said they were asking if Tom Hill had fought yet. I don't know if they're still in here. Uh, I think it was uh, the gentleman from London, our new Brit and Polly. All right, here we go. Rafferty in the red. Jack Rafferty, Tom Hill in the black. Nice one, too, from Rafferty out of the gate here. Oh, beautiful counter left hook, right hand, and a big left hook. Wow, Rafferty teeing off early, and he's already cut Hill open. Big right uppercut there. Wow, Rafferty wasting no time here. He'll land in a combination of the body, but Rafferty, I mean, he is bringing the fire right now. Nice right hook there from Rafferty. I mean, Tom Hill seems to have awakened a demon tonight. Good left hook there from Hill. And uh, now a little bit of a slowdown, but a nice straight right there from Rafferty. There's the right uppercut. Good right there from Rafferty. Double left hook there from Hill. Nice combination there from Tom Hill. And, uh, I mean, these guys are both, uh, you know, more top of the food chain boxers uh, in England. I mean, I guess that's why it is the co-main event. But a uh, nice left hand there from Hill. Good one, too, there from Hill. He's got good hand speed. Nice right there from Hill. But, oh, good right uh, hook to the body and then two right hooks to the head there. And the referee says two times that you hit him in the back of the head. That referee, I mean, he was pissed at Rafferty. He may take a point away early. I, I didn't think it was in the back of the head. I thought it was the side. Nice little combination there from Hill as Rafferty comes in. Nice uppercut there from Rafferty. And Hill with a big combination. Nice hook there. Oh, beautiful left hook there from Rafferty. And a big one, too. Right hand of the body from Rafferty. Hill coming up with a nice right hook there. Big straight right there from Rafferty. And Hill coming back with a big combination. This fight heating up here. In the very first round, nice right hook to the body there from Tom Hill. I'm digging all of his weight into that. Oh, nice combination upstairs and then downstairs from Rafferty. Great defense afterwards. Oh, nice double jab and right hand and then a big combination hooks and uppercuts there for Rafferty. Uh, Hill does land a left right hook to the body, but big first round uh, from Jack Rafferty and not a bad round for Tom Hill I mean Jack Rafferty I mean he just came out on fire I, I really don't think Tom expected him to come out that quickly in the first round and uh, you know maybe that's why he came out so quickly a little bit of an unpredictability here Oh, 
only watch MMA, really? Boxing when big names are fighting. Uh, I used to watch every uh, Tuesday night boxing, uh, USA Tuesday night fights. Yeah, some great matchups, too. Pretty much every Friday night fights on ESPN uh, when I was in high school. And then, of course, this is even before the UFC started, so it's kind of all we had. But, uh, all right, guys, here we go. Second round here. Nice one, too, there from Rafferty. Oh, good combination there from Hill. Oh, big right hand to the body there from Rafferty. Another good combination from Hill. And I'd like to see Rafferty dig to the body more and maybe to hurt Hill. That was a good left and right hook. Oh, there's a big right hand upstairs uh, from Rafferty. And he might hurt Hill with that one. There's a left uppercut. And I don't know why the referee keeps on warning Rafferty when he's not fouling. Um, I think he was saying uh, something about the head after he landed an uppercut. Oh, beautiful combination there from Rafferty to the head. Left hook, right hand, left hook combination. And then the combo downstairs as well afterwards. Main event up next, guys. Nice right hook to the body here from Rafferty. Good left hook to the body. Straight right here from Hill. Oh, big left hook. There from Rafferty. And guys, I said we were going to have some trivia. Uh, um, I'm sorry I didn't earlier. Guys, this fighter was fined $50,000 for throwing a water bottle uh, in the lead up to his fight against Conor McGregor. What fighter got fined $50,000 uh, for throwing a water bottle in the, the lead up of his fight to Conor McGregor? <laughs> Ready, Billy says Snake. Uh, Snake probably, uh, but you know this one, Snake? Yep. Oh, no, it is not Nick. It is not Nick. Uh, he never fought Nick. Nice left hand there from Hill. Oh, right hook and a left uppercut there from Rafferty in the body, but much better uh, round here from Tom Hill. Nice right hand upstairs from Hill. Right uppercut from Rafferty. But uh, Tom Hill, a hell of a lot better round there. Good jab there. Yup, Johnson. Yes, it was. And Nate Diaz. Oh, man. Nice combination here from Tom Hill. Much better round for him. Uh, good dig into the body there uh, for Rafferty. But Tom Hill had some good moments in that one. Much closer round. I did give that one uh, to Rafferty as well. Yep, wrong Diaz, brother. Sorry, to Snake. Yelp Johnson was the first uh, trivia question of the night. All right, in between rounds, going into round number three here. And like I said, if you're looking to follow along, this is on ESPN Plus uh, and IFL TV over in Europe. And coming from London, that's why it's so damn early here in the States. Nice one-two from Rafferty to start this third round. Coming out more aggressive again. Nice combination of the body and a good exchange. Tom Hill continuing to put the pressure on like he did the last round. Yep, Johnson. Um, I don't know. Is that better? Yeah, wrong brother. Huh. 
No problem. You're welcome, sir. Yeah, I was having some issues with sound earlier. It was doing some kind of weird, uh, like, a bass on my voice. So I was messing with the microphone settings. Nice combination of the body for Hill. But Rafferty, a right hook and a left uppercut. Wow. Big shots here from Rafferty. And Tom Hill staying busy, but... And that's a big right hook to the body. Oh, I would keep digging in the body if I'm Rafferty. Nice combination of the body and nice right uppercut as well. Good stuff going on here in the third round. Nice. Couple big right hooks to the body from Lafferty. Left hook upstairs. Another right hook to the body. Good jab from Hill. Great combination there from Rafferty. A jab and a right hand behind it. And Tom Hill, I mean, if you got uh, points scored for screaming when you throw every punch, I mean, Tom Hill would win every fight he was ever in. But uh, nice left hook and a straight right there from Rafferty. And then it digs to the body. Let's go, Jax. A snake. I mean, I'm sure some guys, you know, they think maybe you get a little bit of extra oomph uh, with that scream. But some guys just really annoying when they do it. Nice combination. Oh, my goodness. Rafferty. Left hook and a right hand. Left hook afterwards. Those are some brutal shots. And Tom Hill's going to hold on now. Nice left hook to the body there from Hill. In combination upstairs. Good defense here from Rafferty. And now the one, two. Now he has loads with the combination. Left hook, but a big right uppercut from Tom Hill. Oh, good combination of the body there from Rafferty. Exchange the left hooks to the body. Big left hook upstairs from Rafferty. And, uh, you know, again, Tom Hill, he's being effective. He's being competitive every round. Jack Rafferty uh, just doing a little more. I have it three rounds to zero for Jack Rafferty. And, I mean, one of the big, you know, one of the big differences is Rafferty is just, he's just a lot harder puncher. And, I mean, you can see it, and then with the, no crowd right now, you can really hear uh, the shots. I wonder how much this has affected some of the judging, uh, not having the crowd. I know it affects because they don't, you know, hear the cheer of the crowd uh, on certain things, but... Uh, you know, maybe better able to hear some of the uh, the shots landing too. So here we go, round four of eight, and a big combination from Rafferty again to start the fourth round. To the head and the body, nice big left hook there from Rafferty. Nice little shoe shine from Hill as he comes in. A left hook in the right hand there from Rafferty. Oh, big left hook upstairs. And Hill's got a good chin. Nice right up regard there from Hill. And Hill, he just he just doesn't have all the power in the world. That's why you've seen, you know, 9-0. Oh, he's only got two knockouts. Nice 1-2 there for Hill. But, I mean, uh, you know, he's scoring, but it's just not as hard to punch as. What's going on, Seven? Lego Box, how many more fights? Uh, this is the main, this is the co-main, uh, and then one more after this, you know, the main event, championship bout, so, uh, and now seven's in here, now we really got to get some, uh, some trivia going, guys, who did uh, Donald Cowboy Cerrone fight? for the UFC lightweight title, he did get a title shot, uh, who was it against? Nice right hook to the body there for Tom Hill. And Billy gets it. Yes, it was Dos Anjos. Of course, Rafael Dos Anjos uh, will be fighting a late uh, replacement. Oh, big left hook from Rafferty. 
Uh, late replacement Paul Felder this Saturday. Of course, Islam uh, Makachev had to step out of the fight. Um, undisclosed reasons, but there was a lot of uh, there was a lot of injury staff and a few other things going around that camp. So I have a feeling that uh, it probably was something that came from the camp for uh, Machov. And Rafferty really, I mean, he's putting everything into these hooks, really digging. Nice one, two here from Rafferty. All right. This fighter has the nickname The Happy Warrior. Even wrote a book about happiness. Uh, was not Ben Henderson yet. You might need to refresh. Sorry, I should have had everybody refresh. Seven, you are correct. Roxanne Modafferi. And... A timeout here, a little cut on Rafferty's ear. I'm not sure why they were looking. I think he's just fine. This ref just uh, really seems to, uh, he really seems to like the attention. <laughs> kind of seems to be a bit of an attention whore, to be honest. Uh, you know, so, if, and some guys just really, uh, uh, you know, they just really have to feel important. Everything's fine here. I don't know what the hell the ref's looking at here, but uh, and it, wow, big combinations here from Rafferty. Nice right hook to the body from Rafferty. Good combination downstairs and upstairs for Tom Hill. Good exchanges here at the end of the round. Oh, nice! A couple of nice left uppercuts from Rafferty. Oh, big uppercuts upstairs and hooks to the body for Rafferty. Big left hook. What? And end of the round there. Uh, big shots and combinations from both guys. That's probably the best exchanges of the fight. But yeah, no, this referee's been strange. He's gave a couple uh, couple warnings uh, to Rafferty for seemingly kind of no reason. And Spencer Ferenc, he's got the scorecard. He's got it uh, two apiece. And I did give that one to Hill. I have it three to one um, in favor of uh, Jack Grafferty. All right, and here we go, guys. McGowan and Kulakman up next. The main event. Nice one, two to the body here from Raverty. Start the fifth round. Nice right. Oh, beautiful combinations to the body and the head here. Nice right uppercut uh, from Rafferty and a right hook. Tom Hill looking to build on the success he had last round. Nice right uppercut and left hook, but Rafferty uh, coming out very fast again this round. Oh, look at those. Oh, nice right hook and a nice left there from Hill. And good defense here from Hill. Maybe he's warming up. Nice left hook there from Rafferty, but Hill, uh, nice little parry there. Almost putting Rafferty through the ropes. Oh, great combination of the body there from Rafferty, though. Four hooks in a row. And if Rafferty's going to finish Hill, uh, Tom Hill, I think that's where it's going to be is to the body. Uh, to be honest, I think he needs to keep going there. Oh, and there's a big right hook to the body. And a left hook and a free saying, keep him up. I think it was just fine, but uh, nice exchange of hooks there. Oh, wow, big one, too, here there from Rafferty. 
Good combination from Hill, but much better round from Rafferty. Oh, left hook and a right hand. Seem to be woken up by that last round from Tom Hill. I think Tom Hill won the, the last round. Probably his first, uh, first round I scored for him. But uh, nice right hand and a left uppercut there for Rafferty. And down to the li this last minute. Nice combination from Hill, though. Right, left to the body for Rafferty and up with the left hook. Rafferty really turns in off of these angles into his punches. Nice right hook there from Hill. Big one, too, from Rafferty. And uh, coming down to the last 35 seconds or so here uh, of round five. And we'll throw another trivia question out here in a minute. We'll give everybody a chance in between rounds to refresh your browsers, though. All right. Oh, nice combination to the body there from Hill. And end of the round, everybody refresh your browsers. Five, four, three, two, one and trivia question Anderson Silva uh, debuted in the UFC against this knockout artist um, took him out very quickly uh, hard hitting hard hitting fighter but Anderson Silva was just uh, too much for him and way too much for him, to be honest. Uh, oh, and Billy and Snake both had it. Billy right before you, Pliskin. You are correct, Chris Lieben. And third one in the bank for Billy tonight, or today already. Oh, big one, too, here for Rafferty and a nice left hook. Uh, I mean, I have a feeling he's not going to be happy unless he gets to finish in this fight. Nice left hand there for Hill. And a clinch. Oh, nice left hook there for Hill. Good jab to the body for Hill. The one-two to the body there for Rafferty. Uh, both these guys are tiring a little bit. Everybody, I'm not sure if anybody's still getting, uh, you know, full training counts with all of the sparring partners and all. Uh, you know, due to the Khabib, uh, due to the, uh, Khabib, uh, Ferguson virus. What's going on with this damn microphone now? Jesus Christ. All right, we'll try it again. This, right, this microphone's kind of pissed. guys that's weird it'll like start getting deeper thank you Billy I yeah I'm gonna take this microphone back to Best Buy this is uh, that's, a, that's the strangest thing why it would continue to get deeper during uh, a broadcast makes no sense. Nice left hook and a right hand here for Rafferty. Left hook down to the body here. 
Good left hook upstairs there for Hill on the right hand. Oh, good exchanges here. Tom Hill getting the better of these combinations here at the end of the round. Nice left hook, good right uppercut from Rafferty, but uh, Tom Hill's got a shot at winning his second round here, possibly. Nice right hook there for Hill. Oh, and a, a dodge and a counter, and uh, I got a four rounds to two. I think Tom Hill came back and won that round. So I got a four to two going into the seventh. Guys, this one's scheduled for eight. Uh, main event coming up next. Looks like it's mostly uh, the normal guys in here, but um, we got anybody else in here from England? Anybody in the London crowd? At least you know this brown of Mac is be to be avoided. Oh, absolutely, man. I, I'm not happy. I'll have to see where I put my box at. But uh, yeah, it's I don't know. It's around here somewhere. But uh, I was really hoping, you know, after the last couple of streams, it really kind of seemed to clear up. I was, uh, I'm really happy with the feel of the microphone. It's it's really heavy. It's really uh, heavy duty. You know, really steady, made out of really good material, and uh, just something with the programming. I don't get it. Nice combination there from Rafferty. Good right hook there from Tom Hill. Oh, two big uppercuts. Three big left uppercuts there from Rafferty. And a big left hook snaps back to the head of Hill. I think Rafferty, may, he might be a little pissed about that last round. And Tom Hill, I mean, he might have uh, used up most of his energy. He might need to round off here. Is Rafferty definitely getting the better of this round? Oh, nice right hook there from Hill and another right. Yeah, see, this whole time, Billy, I've had a red light on my mic, uh, which means it's not working correctly, but I haven't been able to figure out how the hell to get it off. Nice right and a left hook from Rafferty. Need to get you the soundboard and mic that Rogan uses. Uh, hey, absolutely, man. It's hard to get any mics right now. And that's the only reason that I bought this one is because, uh, you know, this was the best mic that they had there. Everything else was, you know, they had a couple ones that looked like cheap crap. Uh, and then this one was like 140 bucks. Which uh, is not a cheap microphone. Oh, nice right hook to the body and a left hook upstairs there for Rafferty. Straight right for Hill and a right hook to the body. Who's, uh, you know, Hill had a really good, really came on at the end of the last round. We'll see what he can do here in this last minute. But nice one, two from Rafferty. I don't think he's going to dig out of the hole that Rafferty's put him in this round. And a nice left hook and an uppercut there from Rafferty. Couple shots getting through from Hill, but this is mostly Rafferty. Sounds like the mic is on auto config somehow. Uh, yeah, I'm. I don't know, man. It's it, and it's a plug and play. It, it's got a volume. It, it's got a the plug in the USB plug in, and uh, a spot to plug an instrument in. And then it's, I'm gonna try some. I'm gonna flip something. See what that does. I don't know. But uh, oh, nice right hook upstairs and a left hook to the body there from Rafferty. Much better round for Jack Rafferty coming back ahead in this fight. Uh, I think he's got a big 5 2 lead. And Tom Hill, I think, uh, Tom Hill's pretty tired, I think.
we not have much volume? How's that? That seems like really quiet here. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I'll work on it uh, later on today. But, uh, well, thank you, Billy. Thanks for letting me know here. Oops, and I missed that round eight here. I pause it for just a second so we're so we're synced up and Rafferty once again coming out really uh, aggressive here oh big right hook and a left uppercut from Rafferty I mean he's throwing bombs now he's he's not playing around it's the last round he wants to finish this thing oh big left hook and a right hand there from Rafferty Ever you just did help so, so much better. Oh, good. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not really sure what I did, but... Uh, <laughs> good left hand there from Tom Hill. Good left from Rafferty. Oh, big right hook to the body there from Rafferty and a right hook upstairs. Tom Hill with the counter straight right and a right hook. Left hand, both guys fighting to get this last round. Rafferty's really going for the finish here. Oh, big right hook upstairs and a right hook to the body uh, there for Rafferty. Wow, big left uppercut there for Rafferty. Good stuff here in the eighth round. Nice right hook to the body, left hook upstairs. Here for Jack Rafferty. And, uh, you know, I said earlier, if Rafferty was going to finish this, it's going to be with body shots. I, I still believe that with a minute left. I think he really needs to dig those, to that body and the liver and then come up to the head. Kill the body and the head will fall. Nice right hook to the body there. Good combination upstairs. And I think Tom Hill just might be too durable. I don't think he's going to get him at this point. Good combination there from Hill. Oh, nice defense from Hill. Ducking underneath. Uh, lands a left and right hook of his own. And these guys are pretty exhausted. Nice right hook to the body there from Rafferty. Oh, and now great combination hooks and uppercuts. Big power shots there from Rafferty. Big left hook right on the chin from Jack Rafferty. I mean, he's definitely trying to end this fight. Uh, either Hill, uh, you know, his chin's too much there. Rafferty just doesn't have the power that he looks like he has. Uh, or a combination of both. But, I mean, Rafferty, he's landing hooks and uppercuts. He seems to be putting everything into it. Oh, nice right uppercut there from Hill. And kind of a back fist as uh, Rafferty comes in. But uh, that one's an easy one for me. I got seven rounds to one in, in favor of Jack Rafferty. I, I, I gave the one, the one round, I believe it was the third, uh, to Jack Hill. Or, or Tom Hill, excuse me. And to, uh, go to the scorecards and get a an official decision here. But uh, the main event coming up next. And Tom Hill, I mean, nothing embarrassing. I mean, I don't think he, like, needs to, you know, retire or go start working at Burger King or something. But, uh... You know, definitely didn't win this fight. I think Jack Rafferty, he's a good fighter. He's a good fighter. There's just so many boxers in, you know, so many fighters in boxing. I don't know where Rafferty fits in in all of it, uh, but he looked a lot better than Tom Hill tonight.
main event coming up next. And betting's coming in for McGowan big time. And the topology uh, prediction, 71%. And Rafferty gets a unanimous decision, first of all. Good win for him. And then uh, Kulik, Matt, getting just 29% uh, of the predictions. Uh, McGowan, 71%. of the votes here on Tapology. All right, this fight next for the WBC International uh, Super Welterweight title. I said it was for the world title earlier. Inter what the difference is between international and world? I mean, I guess you, you leave a few countries out when you go international. I don't know. There's a lot of belts in boxing, but there's one of them, uh, one of them being put out there for this fight. And he said that was the, the first uh, first eight rounder ever for for Jack. All right, Macaulay McGowan versus uh, Turns Bay uh, Colic Mott. Coming up next, let's throw some trivia out there, though, while we're waiting uh, for this main event. And I uh, appreciate everybody showing up tonight. I thought we might get some London people today, but I appreciate the regulars coming out, especially since uh, a lot of you watch mostly MMA now. Maybe don't know who a lot of these boxers are. Jack Roberty. What's up, martial arts fan? You missed it, man. Jack Roberty. Uh, one unanimous decision. Sound is clear. Can even hear your computer running. Well, that's almost too clear. <laughs> or too sensitive. But uh, turns up Bay Kalakmet. 1-0 with one knockout. Macaulay McGowan. 14-0-1 with three knockouts. Uh, McCauley, 25. Uh, Colicman, a year older, at 26, out of Kaislorda. Uh, 154 pounders. McGowan, two inches taller, 5'11". I am covering Crawford. So, Saturday, uh, after the Rafael dos Anjos... Uh, versus uh, Paul Felder uh, fight on the main event. ESPN Plus is going to stay with uh, combat coverage and go into that fight. So, big night. All right, guys. Let's throw the next trivia question out. Ronda Rousey 
scored her first knockout against this fighter. I don't know, it's possibly the start of her downfall because she decided that she could box after that. Uh, who was Ronda Rousey's first knockout? Early US, it was not Kohea. Either it's your computer or your heater, but your mic is working good. Thank you, Bill. It's probably the heater. Uh, I was not Kohea. That was her, actually her second knockout. Yeah, Billy Alexis Davis, you are correct. All right, main event coming up next. I thought it was I thought it was Kohea. I I thought I remembered it being Kohea when I wrote that trivia question. I had to look on SureDog uh, at her record and. Sure enough, it was Alexis Davis. And it wouldn't matter anyways. Billy running away with trivia again tonight or today. It's usually night, but out of six questions, Billy's gotten four of them. Let's throw another one out while everybody's refreshed, though. All right, guys, Bruce Lee's uh, first film, first actual motion picture uh, was an independent, it had good independent uh, fight choreography, but bad camera work, a makeshift plot um, where Bruce works in an ice shop that turns out to be an undercover drug smuggling operation. However, he was a one-man show, and this was the start of his Hong Kong takeover. Uh, what fight was this? Geez, I really didn't think you were going to get that one, Billy. Where's that noise outside? Sorry. Oh. Just a dog groomer across the street backing up. Making sure somebody's not coming to repo my truck or something. I'm like, I paid cash for that bitch. Davis was a TKO via bulldog choke and punches, I believe. Ah. Uh, no, amazingly enough, that is not the correct name of the video. Uh, it, it was The Big Boss. And McCallie McGowan coming down to uh, the old Ricky Hatton. Uh, some Ricky Hatton music, some love music. I don't know what it is with these English fighters coming down to love songs. I mean, and then you got the Americans. They're coming down to, you know, uh, Pantera, Rage Against the Machine. I'm going to rip your face off and light it on fire. But uh, the English, I guess, uh, uh, just a little bit calmer, just a wee bit calmer than we are. <laughs> Macaulay McGowan. Guys, I'm going to need a little more water. I'm going to be right back uh, before they start this first round.
right, guys, here we go. Main event of the evening. Sponsored by Top Rank Boxing and IFL TV. This fight companion brought to you by Seattle Mike of MMA with Friends. The, for the super welterweight title. Kazakhstan versus England. Let's get it on. Brought to you by the premium members of MMA with friends. Greg Brimstone, Melton Nelson, Mr. PBR Street Gang. And a donation from $10 donation from Dean Hamper tonight. Ricky Hatch and Hatton H so fast. Went from top level boxer to looking like George Costanza. Yeah, it's weird how some people age so much differently. That sucks for him. All right, guys, out of Wythenshaw, England, 25 years old. He weighed in 154 pounds. 14 and 0 with one draw, three knockouts. Macaulay McGowan. <clears throat> All right, guys, out of Kai's Lorda, Kazakhstan. 2019 amateur world champion. Just his second fight as ever as a professional. 1-0 and oh with one knockout. Tons of Bay Kalakmet. Alright guys, 10 three minute rounds for the WBC International Super Welterweight title. All right, any predictions here? Uh, I, I'm going to go for Kalikmat. I know 71% of people on Tapology were saying McGowan. Uh, I, I'm going to say in a second fight, Kalikmat pulls it off. Kalikmat of Kazakhstan in uh, the black and yellow. Uh, black and yellow shorts and black and yellow gloves. Uh, measuring McGowan early. Uh, I mean, this is this is a oh nice left hook there from Kalamak. Big left hook to the body, and this guy throws bombs. I mean, he he drops atomic bombs on people. And I mean, when you're fighting a guy, an undefeated guy with 15 fights in your second fight ever, uh, I mean, oh big one too there from. Kalikmat and a left hook to the body. God, I mean, you could just see how heavy his hands are. This guy's got sledgehammers. Big left hand from Kalikmat. That was a slip. McGowan goes down. Uh, that was a, a bit of a slip. Oh, big left hook to the body there from Kalikmat. Oh, huge left hook upstairs. And what a prospect Kalikman could be if he can defeat a 14-0 fighter in just a second fight. Big left uppercut from Kalikman. Oh, and a nice left hand there. So efficient, so accurate. Look how he measures with that front hand. Big left hook. Right and a left hook there from Kalikman. And a little bit of hitting in the grasp there. Referee's going to break him up. But... Uh, it is early, but McGowan may have to make this one a little dirty uh, to get the fight going his way. Another big left hand here from Kalikmat. There's that big left hand right up top for Kalikmat. Almost 100% of his punch is landing. I mean, he, he's so efficient. His defense is so good. Oh, wow. Big bomb for Kalikmat right on the chin. Second fight as a professional. Like I said, I cannot stress that enough out of Kazakhstan. Uh, we might be looking at the next big star 
uh, in the super welterweight division. I mean, I know this is it's, this is very early, uh, but he's very good, and he's he's got a tough opponent in front of him tonight, though. This is uh, McGowan, no easy out. Oh, nice left uppercut to the body there from Colic Matt. Big left hook upstairs. And that's going to be the end here of the first round. Damn. Like I said, this guy, he, he's got bombs in those gloves. Deontay Wilder's about to uh, uh, accuse him of putting bricks in his gloves after this fight. The Eggman. What's up, Kurosa Chumu? Chumu already doing acid at uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. No, I'm just kidding. I think that's what that song's about, right? And Cosmic Mountain moving forward, measuring early. Oh, there's a big left hook and a big left uppercut. They're from. Uh, Clockman. And he's just he's just so aware of his range. Nice left hand there from McGowan. But I mean oh big shot to the body. Big left hook to the body from Colic Matt. There's a big left hand upstairs. I mean it's almost not oh another big left hook to the body and he hurts him and McGowan is down. I think that was a knockdown from the body shot. The referee's going to call it a slip, but. Uh, oh, big left hook there from Colic Mott. Downstairs, upstairs, all Colic Mott here in the second round. Wow. Left, right. There's a big left hook to the body. No, but his stance, you look at him, think about Bruce Lee. The way he the way he leads with that power hand and his stance, it's not a normal boxing stance. Oh, there's a big left hook to the body. And he hurts McCowan again there. And uh the referee just warned Calic Matt. Uh said that's the second time you pushed him down. Don't push him down. Big right hand there from Kolik Matt. There's the left hook upstairs. And like I said, this, this guy, he, he just, he lands with everything he throws. And there's a big left hook to the body. Oh, big left hook right on the chin there from Kalik Matt. You know who this guy reminds me of, Billy? Uh, or Robert, if Robert Kerrigan's in here. It kind of reminds me of Kostya Zhu. Uh, the great welterweight. Not much, Caruso. Good to see you, man. Just uh, having fun watching some uh, boxing in the middle of a Wednesday afternoon. Nice left hand here from Colic Mott. And Mc McGowan lands a nice right hook to the body there. But, oh, big left hooks. Oh, to the body and then to the head. And, uh, oh, big left uppercut from Colic Mott. Nice right hand here. Nice left hook to the body from Colic Mott. McGowan finally answers with the right, but these are just dominating rounds from Colic Mott. Man. Left hook and right hand. This is really hard to believe that he's a 154 pounder. I mean, he hits like a Mack truck. And McGowan just 100% defensive here. Like I said, an undefeated uh, fighter with 15 fights, um, you know, under his belt. 
uh, against a guy in just the second professional fight. But, um, man, a lot of talent coming out of uh, Kazakhstan in boxing right now. And this guy's the cream of the crop. 2019 amateur world champion. I mean, and he's just so calm and serious. He's got uh, like that Khabib look. Uh, but like I said before, he really reminds me uh, uh, of Kostya Zhu. And for those that never watched Kostya Zhu, uh, look him up. Look up his fights against uh, Zab Judah, against a lot of guys. So that guy... Uh, one punch power at 147 pounds. Oh, big left hooks to the body. Uh, there from Kalikmat. There's another left hook to the body. And McGowan, just very hesitant to try just about anything in this fight. Because, I mean, he's just getting bombed on. A straight right and a little combination here from McGowan. Kalikmat is holding a lot. Uh, so this referee, he may... Okay, yeah, he says, this is your last chance. You hold him again. I'm going to take a point away. And I, I don't think Clackmat uh, understood a damn word he said. But, uh, oh, nice left hand there from Calicmat. Uh, Calicmat probably speaks less English than Robert Roberto Duran did in his prime. Nice left hand to the body there from Calicmat. Oh, that was a big left hand from Kalikmat again. Man, he is so fun to watch. Oh, big left hook. Double left hook in the right hand. Just a master. And, uh, I mean, the way he distributes his weight and body around to where, uh, I mean, McCallan can't hit him. He can't hit anything but the arms. Oh, and there's a big straight left from Kalakman. Straight right finally gets through for McGowan. But um, I could see Kalakman becoming the second fighter in CompuBox history to not get hit with a shot for a round two. Big left uppercut and a big left hook there from Kalakman. Right hand of the body gets through for McGowan. There's a big left hand from Clockman and McGowan. Just like, just about tackling Clockman there. Might have had a flashback to his schoolyard days there of a McGowan. And Clackmat, he's patient. He just waits, and he's going to land that big left. There it is, the left and the right right afterwards. Left hook to the body. And there's the end of the third round. Another good round. Uh, here for Clackmat. Nothing going right for McGowan tonight. And, I mean, how many times do you see a mismatch uh, between a, a, a guy that's got 15, undefeated with 15 wins, and a guy in his pro debut? It just, it just doesn't happen. All right, round four here. Oh, nice left hook to the body there from Kalikmat. And Kalikmat, he's constantly pressuring McGowan, getting him up against the ropes there. Nice left hook to the body and right hand there. McGowan with the right hook. Oh, not good jab there from McGowan. Right down the center. Oh, nice left to the body there from Kalikmat. 
right hook to the McGowan, but uh, it is all colic. My for those who aren't watching this on ESPN Plus, uh, I mean, write that name down because you'll never remember it. Uh, you know, Turns Bay Colic Mott. Uh, this kid, uh, I, I think he could be something special. Nice left trick to the body and a left hand upstairs. Uh, I mean, a one professional fight coming into this. It's an undefeated fighter with 15 wins. Oh, big left hook upstairs. Left hook downstairs and upstairs. That was a legitimate knockdown uh, because the ropes held him up. Uh, this referee should have called that a knockdown. He didn't. I have a feeling Kalikmat's going to get a chance to uh, correct that mistake, though. And it does seem like Kalikmat understood about the whole thing or somebody in his corner told him uh, because he has not been pushing McGowan again. Oh, nice straight right and a left hook there from uh, Kalikmat. And that just tells me he didn't need to. He didn't need to do that uh, when he's doing that earlier in the fight. Right hook upstairs there from Colleague Mott. Nice one too for McCowan, but uh, man, McCowan he just does not. I mean, oh, nice one too from McGowan. Big uppercut and a hook. Uh, there from Colomite, though, and he eats another one of those big left hooks. And, man, the movement of Colomite. It's, it's got to be so frustrating. Nice left hook there from Colomite. And hands down now for Colomite. Such a wide stance, but, I mean, uh, nice right hand to the body. He really has a Bruce Lee... Uh, style stance though uh, his head movement is magnificent I mean I, I can't say an, I can't say enough good things about this kid and if McGowan was not just like 100% uh, defensive uh, I think Colin I would have taken him out by now And it's, it's a bit like Roy Jones, Kellick, man, and no jab. Uh, he just leads with that left hook, uh, just like Roy. But And when somebody hits, uh, you know, when, when somebody keeps hitting you that hard, it's very discouraging. I'll, I'll tell you guys, I, I fought a guy back in the old Tupman contest uh, in the, the Tri-Cities Coliseum in eastern Washington. This is when I was like, I think it was like 25 or 26 years old. Uh, and uh, I was fighting at 170, I think it was 175 at the time. Nice left hook there by Colleague Matt. I fought this guy named Paul. And when this guy hits you, I mean, you're... Uh, head instantly vibrated i mean he felt like he had a, co a concussion in each glove i'd never been hit like that and i slept hook there from colic matt but i mean uh, he hit you once and you just wanted to go home and he just it, it, he hit you that hard every time he touched you i slept hook there from colic matt Good jab from Colic Mutt. Oh, big left hand. Nice right hook there from Colic Mutt. And for those that came out for Macaulay McGowan uh, to watch tonight, uh, they're going to be highly disappointed, I think. Big left hand from Colic Mutt. But I think the boxing world might have gotten another star tonight. At super welterweight. Nice body shot in the right hook there from Colic Mott. Oh, big left hand from Colic Mott. 
And the footwork, I mean, he ends up on, like, the other side of him. This is, I mean, he's like nobody else in the game right now. It's just the way he moves. I'm not saying he's the best fighter in the game right now. I don't see anyone else moving like this right now. Nice left hand there from Cowick Mott. A big one, too. Oh, big uppercut and a left hook there from Cowick Mott. Nice right hook. Oh, nice left hook to the body and the left hook upstairs. And, I mean, damn. Nice right hand there from McGowan. Maybe his best shot of the match. But uh, he gets rewarded with two big bombs from Kalikmat. <clears throat> What's up, boxing MMA? Mike? What's up, brother? I didn't know you covered MTK cards. Hey, I do now, man. Oh, big left hand uh, here from Kalikmat. Left uppercut upstairs. Big right hook. And there's the push. He might take a point away. I don't think he could help himself. I think that was kind of in instinct. Kyle like, Mott pushed him into the corner. Good to see you, Boxing MMA 365. All right, guys. If you haven't hit the thumbs up button yet, we are in the main... Uh, event tomorrow, a huge Bellator card, guys. Uh, it's, um, amazing card. Uh, like I said, Patricio Pitbull versus Pedro Carvalho. Uh, Daniel Wichel versus Emmanuel Sanchez, too. Um, our mom's, uh, uh, Armasov. Um, uh, versus Logan Starley, uh, return of Aaron Pico, uh, it's a big fight, and two fights, uh, two big fights to decide that, uh, featherweight Grand Prix there in Bellator. What's up, Bonsai Singh? Hi, Mike. Uh, how did Ender Bossy get on? Uh, he did. He did very well. I like the guy. Uh, he had good counter punching uh, through six rounds, but I, I thought he lost four or two rounds. The judges agreed with me. He kind of seemed to get tired. I really liked what he did uh, in rounds one and three. Uh, he's a good counter puncher, but he uh, uh, kind of got out outworked in the end. Nice left hook there from Kalik Mott. Measuring with that straight right hand. Oh, big left hand there from Kalik Mott. And again, the big left hand. I mean, give it to McC uh, McGowan that he's still standing. Uh, McCauley McGowan, I thought he was knocked down once. Technically, because the ropes held him up. The referee didn't call it. Straight right there from Colic Matt. But McGowan, uh, McGowan will just not open up. And it's it's a hard... Oh, beautiful combination there from Colic Matt. But when you're fighting a guy that's undefeated, a guy with experience... Nice right hand there from McGowan. That decides... That's going to be a point, I think. Calicmont pushing with the shoulder and the arm. I think they did take a point away there. It was hard to tell. Nice left hand there from Calicmont. Oh, nice straight right. And look at him. Spins around to the other side. Uh, of McGowan. I mean, this guy, oh, big hook there. Just amazing. Thanks, mate. Young prospect. Hopefully will improve. Oh, I think he's definitely got some potential. Nice left hook to the body. Big right hand and a left hook from Colic Mott. Left hook to the body and 
hopefully as as the fight goes on, McGowan's going to have to open up uh, to have any chance, and uh, that's going to play into Kolek Munson's hands. Oh, big left hook upstairs. A big body shot there. Kellick might land on just about 100% of these. But what's up, Pulse Reloaded? Macaulay Culkin boxes now. <laughs> uh, Macaulay McGowan. But, uh, yeah, he's about that old. Oh, a little older. I think he's. I think Macaulay Culkin's around my age now, which is strange. He's a little younger, I think. Somewhere in his 30s. I don't know. But, uh, and McCoy McGowan, he may make it through to a decision. I'd like to see a finish here. And, I mean, in the second round, I, I never thought uh, McGowan was going to make it this far. I mean, Colic Mott's just been hitting him with such big shots. Look at Colic Mott, though. I mean, not one. Uh, I mean, he looks as fresh as when the fight just started. Not one hard breath. Not one blemish on his face. Out of Kazakhstan. I mean, he's like a robot. All right, round seven. I heard the Olsen twins just turned 40. Jeez, time flies. Oh, Jesus. Right? Oh, wow. Nice left hand there from Calic Matt. And just the, like I said, the way he moves, I don't think there's anybody moving like that in boxing right now. Maybe Vasil Lemichenko, uh, uh, who definitely didn't move that way in his last fight. Why is the referee grabbing Calic Matt there? That was strange. Oh, nice left hook to the body and a right hand there from Kyle Ikmat. And he's, I mean, it really seems like he studied Bruce Lee. Because the way he, he turns his body to make such a small target. Um, like I said, just the way Costi Zhu did. Uses that front hand to measure, uses the reach. Nice left hand to the body. Good straight right there from Colic Matt. Good little short right hook. Jab lands from McGowan, then he runs the hell out of there. I mean, McGowan, oh, big left hook to the body there from Colic Matt. It's like McGowan throws a jab and then runs for his life. There's a left hook there from Kaligma. Right hand there from Kaligma. But, uh, uh, I mean, Kaligma really frustrated with McGowan just not fighting here. Just uh, just fighting defensively to survive. And this is, uh, I mean, that is really frustrating. Nice right hand there from Kaligma. Left hook behind it. Good jump left hand there from Colic Matt. Oh, that was a big left hook to the body. And McGowan, I mean, McGowan's taking some punishment tonight, and he keeps coming. I'll definitely say that. All right, end of the seventh round here. And if you're on ESPN Plus, uh, just temporarily lost the streams. There's technical difficulties, but I'm sure it'll come right back on. 14 watching, please hit that thumbs up button if you like what I do here. 
Make sure and subscribe if you like everything uh, boxing, MMA, anything fighting. All right, and there we're back. <clears throat> Back for round eight here. Yeah, they're having definitely have some technical difficulties here on ESPN because it doesn't show the round or the time here, uh, and and the sounds a, a a bit squeaky, but a uh, bit off. But the fight's back on here. Comic Mind's dancing in front of uh, McGowan. He's saying, "Come on, come on!" Now he's getting frustrated. He's backing up. He's like, "Get in here and fight." What, what did you come here for? Nice left hand there from Colic Mont and a pinpoint right. Oh, another big left. And again, he pushes McGowan down. I think he was losing his balance, and that's going to be a point. Yep, one point taken. He has warned him many times. And guys, if you're wondering why I have no fight clock, I have no idea where... The clock is because uh, the ESPN fight clock disappeared. Oh, big left hand, the right behind it. Uh, therefore, collect Matt. And uh, it, it, it is surprising that clock Matt has not taken him out yet. Damn, another push down. He could get this. He could get disqualified here. That would that would really be disappointing in, in a fight that uh, a championship fight, just a second fight ever, where he's winning every round convincingly. And I uh, I know he's very frustrated by McGowan, uh, by his style and his uh, lack of. Uh, Lack of willingness to engage here tonight, but uh, I mean when you when you get hit by bombs like that And uh, it would be nice to see uh, Kalik might put more than one punch together. Uh, the analyst, I think being a bit tough on the guy for being just his second professional fight ever uh, against a guy with 15, you know, undefeated and 15 professional bouts. But, um, uh, yeah, he probably should be able to finish him here, though. But McGowan, I mean, it takes two to tango. And McGowan's just really not willing to engage to right now. Oh, big left hand down the middle of the left hook. There's a big right hook from McGowan. Or excuse me, from uh, Colic Mutt. And if you're getting a, you know, a little freeze frame back and forth on ESPN+, Plus, you're not the only one. Nice pinpoint left there from Colleague Mott. McGowan finally lands a jab there. I mean, that's, uh, uh, it, he's landed very little in this fight. There's another big right hook, and that's supposed to be a knockdown. You cannot turn your uh, back to your opponent. That's actually illegal there from McGowan. This uh, this referee's maybe had to deal with some tough, oh, and they, McGowan flopping there. You know, Colic Mott had a point taken away earlier for pushing. Uh, so I think McCowan says, I'm going to make it look like I was pushed down. Nice left hook to the body from Colic Mott. He definitely does have a habit of leaning on his opponent, pushing on his weight in, though. Nice left hook to the body. Big right hand on the chin there from Colic Mott. Another big left hand. I would like to see him put some of these combinations together. I mean, he's landing almost 100% of these power shots. Oh, there's a nice right hand and a left hook. 
And now McGowan holding. See, and he's leaning in. It's almost like an NBA player trying to draw a foul. He's leaning into Kalikmat now, trying to get Kalikmat to push him uh, because he knows the referee's already taken one point away. I still have took to the body there uh, from, from Kalikmat. Jab to the body. Uh, from Klockman looking to set up that big left hand again. And I mean, especially the fact that McCowan really, you know, has a nice left hand there. Another one there from Klockman. Uh, you know, so McGowan really hasn't shown much offense. Big right hand on the temple there. Um, I'm surprised that Klockman hasn't put together uh, some bigger combinations here. Just throwing a lot, so many single shots. Two big left hooks there. But, uh, I mean, I know he doesn't really use his jab. But uh, if he could put together some punches and bunches, I, I really think that he could have taken uh, McGowan out by now. He's really similar to a point fighter, like a... Like a like a Leona Machida style uh, as a boxer, like a Leona Machida or, or a Stephen Thompson. And like I said, he's, he's got like a Kung Fu stance, and uh, but he's a boxer. You know, he throws good left hooks. He throws good right hands. He's a uh, so really, really interesting guy to watch. And here we go, 10th and final round here for the WBC uh, International Super Welterweight Belt. Nice left hand here from Cowboy Mount. Like I said, final round of the fight. Good job there from Cowboy Mount. Those very few of them. There's a big lead right hook. Left behind it, another right hook there from Colic. Well, let's see if let's see if he doesn't put his punches together this round to try to get a stoppage. Good left hand to the body, and uh, McGowan finally throwing a combination, opening up, and uh, Colic got him with a couple there. Oh, nice straight left there from Koek. I I know he doesn't throw his jab much, and I know he I know he can lead with his power shot, but I I really think as fast as he is, I think that jab would help him. Uh, uh you know, if if he worked on that jab and brought more power shots behind it. Nice right hook on the temple there, uh, for Kalik Matt. Nice left hook to the body, and I mean, God, this is just his second professional fight. Like I said. And nice right hook there from uh, Klockmet. And a big right hand on the temple. I don't want to be too tough on the kid. Thank you, Billy. There's the left hand to the body there from Klockmet. Straight right lands there for McGowan. Oh, nice left hand to the body from Klockmet. Oh, nice straight left down the pipe from Klockmet. I really did not expect... Uh, the way he was landing bombs in the first and second round for this to last to the 10th. But good combination there from Colic. My left hook, right hand, left hook at the end. And McGowan, I mean, he's no doubt, he's a tough SOB. Well, we only got 12 seconds left in the fight. Nice left hook to the head and left hook downstairs. 
there from Colic Matt and this fight All right guys I mean this uh, this one should be a pretty easy one to score All right. Yeah, it's got to be something in the bottom with the, the way the USP is made or something. So weird, Mike. But uh, we'll see who's going to be the WBC international champion. I don't think there really shouldn't be any question. Macaulay McGowan really didn't show any offense tonight. And Klockman, he, he definitely has a, a habit he needs to work on of pushing on his opponent and pushing him down. And McGowan definitely played into that a lot. Uh, McGowan was kind of flopping like an NBA player there a few times. Uh, Klockman ended up getting a point taken away. It's going to be the only point, I'm sure, uh, that McGowan gets really could be this particular mic is defective. That could be too. Like, uh, not like not the model, but just the one I bought. That could be. All right. And finally to the scorecard, unanimous decision. This is an easy one. All right, all three score at 99-89. Out of Kazakhstan, Turns Bay Akalak met WBC International Super Welterweight Champion. And guys, that guy really could be uh, the next big star in boxing. All right, guys, don't forget, like I said, tomorrow... Big Bellator card. Patricio Pitbull taken on Pedro Carvalho. Um, uh, as well as Daniel Wichel versus Emmanuel Sanchez too. Uh, those are the next two fights in the Featherweight Grand Prix. Um, and then you have the return of Aaron Pico. Uh, and you also have... Um, uh, Amoslav versus Logan Starley. So really good Bellator card uh, tomorrow night. 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern for the start of uh, the main card. The prelims are going to start uh, about three hours before. 1 Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern. Guys, I'm not doing the prelims most likely because they are free on the Bellator YouTube channel. Uh, so check that out. Really cool for Bellator to do that. Uh, and then if you're looking to watch and follow along, it's going to be on CBS News Network and also on DAZN. So between those two... All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in for a... Uh, a strange time. Uh, it ended up being three and a half hours. I didn't expect that to be uh, quite that long a stream today. I know my wife is off. She was wanting to go out to lunch with me. Uh, so I think we'll go do that. But uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope to see you tomorrow for a big Bellator card. But before you go, uh, like I said before, huge week. Uh, we got the Bellator card. We got Paul Felder versus Rafael Dos Anjos. Uh, that, the prelims start at 1 Pacific, 4 Eastern. Main card starts at 4 Pacific, 7 Eastern. And uh, then directly following that, 
Uh, we're going to have Crawford versus Brooke. Uh, Terrence Crawford, the best pound-for-pound -pound boxer on the planet, uh, fighting right after that on ESPN+. Plus. And uh, Friday, if I end up with time, I just found out about it, but we might we might fit bare knuckle boxing in there too. Not sure yet. All right, see you tomorrow, Chimo. Thank you, Marvin. I appreciate you all, guys. As always, I love you. I respect you, and I'll see your fine asses later.